Chainsaw Man! Chainsaw Man! Oh my god. <laughs> so, very short chapter, but like, my god. Like, <laughs> probably the hardest I've laughed at a manga chapter in a long time. Power, wow. <laughs> What's... Yeah. Why don't you start, David? Power, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. She, she just, just, wow. <laughs> Gets behind the wheel, immediately kills a dude, and Denji. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, oh. let me just, I just want to read exactly, like, the, this author has such a good way of, like, doing dialogue. Like, I really, it's just, they talk so, like, it's actually the, the reverse of, like, my problem with Promise Neverland is, like, they always feel like they talk like robots to me. Like, it's like... Someone typed, like, some dialogue in Microsoft Sam, like, the next objective to go to is this, and it, it, there's, it's lifeless, there's no character there, you know? Um, and I could see how, like, an, art, an author that isn't as good as that kind of thing would be like, yeah, obviously, they're just saying what the plot needs them to say. But, like, in Chainsaw Man, you get chapters like this where you have them saying shit, like, I'm, I'm scrolling to it now, yeah, it's like, <laughs> is this your car? Uh, I'm trying to find it, yeah. She just walks in, like, this looks like my car isn't this my car tis mine <laughs> yeah she, like it's there's no, <laughs> it's so tough like and it's, it's just manga so you can't really tell the cadence or the sarcasm but it's written so well that you could just you can hear it in your head how it's said like hmm really is this your car i don't know kind of looks like my car you know power the one that definitely wouldn't own a car <laughs> because she has the iq of like a cat yeah Oh, oh my god. god. And then, yeah, no, and I just thought, and the, it's so beautiful, because I just thought it was just a dumb little comedic moment, and then they're just talking, and then all of a sudden, BAM, they're hit by a car, <laughs> literally killing, oh my god, see, I'll be honest, I kind of, I know that, you know, their whole thing was, we're immortal, we can't die, but, like, part of me was, like, like until the chapter was done, I was like, what if that guy's actually, what if they just defeated one of them, like, like if that was how they actually defeated one of them, like, we got it, <laughs> one down! <laughs> One down. It's like, it reminds, I don't, I'm sure I've seen some other show with this kind of plot element, but like, you know, there's like a group of assassins coming at them and they're, and they're professionals, but like one character is just so fucking stupid that like their stupidity is just unpredictable. Like we'll beat them with our sheer stupidity. Yeah. Cause this guy definitely didn't fucking expect that <laughs> because again, his disguise was perfect. No one expected it. No one. So, like, you could, yeah. you literally cannot plan for this. He came in. His disguise was in. He was ready. He had the whole, like, I want to, I, I know I should be in the hospital, but I want to fight to avenge my friends. Oh, my God. Everything's going perfect. And then just sheer stupidity. <laughs> so dumb. There, There's no other way to put this chapter. It is just a cavalcade of stupidity. And I wonder if, like, the guy, because the guy obviously didn't hear any of the conversations, I would guess, like, because it was in the car and stuff, but, like, so to this guy's perspective, I wonder if, if he actually thinks power is smart. Because that could be funny, right? Because all he saw was her get in the car, and then power come out and say, Yup, that was my genius plan. That, I knew it all along. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. I just so, fuck shit up. So now I'm just waiting for this guy to be like, Ah, oh, I, I thought the chainsaw was the main enemy, but clearly that fiend is the, the brains behind the operation. Oh. <laughs> uh. It's so. You remember that this fucking is... scene in Adventure Time where uh, Marceline's dad is fucking like sucking up souls and like, and then he gets to Gunter the fucking penguin and he's just like, clearly you are the most dangerous evil being I've ever encountered, and it's just like Gunter's unblinking face, the penguin. I just want a, a similar scene where like it's this guy and he's like confronting power and he's like, clearly you're the most intelligent being here, and then it's just like her drooling. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She's just, like, eating a sock. <laughs> I'm trying to find that cl clip there. And Denji's like, don't eat that sock specifically! Don't, uh, no reason! Pick up on the joke. Pick up on the joke. Stomping on and sucking their souls. Stomping on and souls, souls, souls. Yep. Yep. That episode. <laughs> That's a good episode. Um, it also, is. did you catch my cum sock joke? I heard it, and I did not want to acknowledge it. And then power... Oh, God. This is the beginning of a hentai, actually. I'm very good at writing these. Like, think about it. She's eating a sock for some reason. <laughs> it ends up being a cum sock, 
and then for some reason... You and like, Booyah just need to you know, get together, make a doge, and get it Booyah, over Yeah, I believe, is a retired hentai artist. Like, every time I request something from him, he, he avoids it. So he's either a fraud, <laughs> or he doesn't feel like doing it. I'm messing with you, Fuya. There's, like, a fucking conspiracy. He, like, killed the real Fuya and took his channel over. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, it's just, like, it reminds me of, um... I actually just finished Gravity Falls, and, like, he took the... Spoilers for Gravity Falls, by the way. He took the house of his, like, actually smart brother. So, like, he was just, like, pretending to be him by, like, like, look at this science he do had. Like, it's just Fuya's just, like, reposting old hentai that he drew, but, like, cut up and snipped up, like... <laughs> They'll never know. I I've lost my ability to draw hentai. <laughs> oh, beautiful, beautiful fan. Thank you for out there. Yep, yep. Fuya is a, a hentai artist. We know, by the way. Uh, check him out on Twitter. F U Y A. It'll come up. Um, what was I gonna say? I've lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, no. I mean that's basically the whole chapter, though. Like just poor yeah. fucking. Uh, <laughs> Seven minutes. Is, what Co- Kona B or Kona? I can never pronounce it. Kona B. Uh, sure. Knife Girl. Uh, she is just a punching bag in this series. And it's she, she's so wholesome because she's just like, yep, I, I bought the car with my money so I can finally chauffeur my family around because I, I don't remember much about her family, but I assume they're like all really, really dependent on her. And it's just one of those like, yeah, I, I make all the money for the family. And, uh, you know, I, I eat like on the dollar menu of McDonald's and I get like one Egg McMuffin a day so they can live. <laughs> Well, she either stays in the agency or becomes a whore. Your hey, choice. I wasn't going to go there, all right? <laughs> um, I mean, that's confirmed. What, really? Yes. Oh, God. I need to reread the series. <laughs> See, once the volumes come out, that's when I'll be rereading this series. You, you uh, waste the zero dollars because you have the free membership because you're a broke bitch. I'm not that broke. I just prefer physical. But yeah, and no, then, literally, beyond them hitting the, Denji and the other guy with the car, it's just the end scene, where he basically just gets a new disguise, and, and uh, we back in. So, I mean, this chapter, it's very funny, because, like, it is probably the definition of a filler chapter, but it's the best chapter <laughs> that I've read in a month. <laughs> All right. Thoughts and predictions. <laughs> What about you, dude? I'm scrolling through right now to make sure we didn't miss anything. So, yeah. Um... <laughs> oh, no. One other thing, too, is where uh, right after she hits them, she's like, well, it's your car. It's your. It's not my fault. <laughs> yeah, she's just like, I was behind the wheel. She went from, it's, it's this is my car, me. to this is your car, to just kidding. It's back to being my car, and my, I, I, you're welcome. <laughs> License and registrations, ma'am. Why are you driving the, this, you know, poor waif's car and wrecking it into human beings? Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, we do have some other stuff. Sorry. The skin devil. Sorry, what? Well, I mean, everybody wants perfect skin. That's half of my no. job's products. The skin devil is like a fucking villain in like a like a, a 90s Nickelodeon show. Like, he'll give you acne and then you'll be bullied. <laughs> You'll never surpass the fucking age devil. Remember when you were a teenager and the your worst day was a, a bad zit? And now your worst day is getting fired from a job and wondering what you're going to do for rent. <laughs> Good times. Oh, God. Where's the rent devil? No, you know what? The landlord devil. Oh. Just stomps down. De- <laughs> I'm going to need that rent demonetization devil where's that one <laughs> haunting pewdiepie in his sleep <clears throat> what if pewdiepie made a contract with the demonetization devil and that's why he's still rich oh god <laughs> plot twist bro i'm sorry if if uh, this author doesn't do that at some point like i need a youtuber in this <laughs> like have you read have you read any of the fairy tale author's new series i believe it's called eden zero i've not the literally the main character is a youtuber but they call it, I believe they call it a B-Cuber. <laughs> and it's Excuse because, like, th- their computers are, like, cubes or something. And, like, they upload, like, the internet is housed on these, like, cubes and everyone. It's all cube-based. But, like, yeah, no, she's literally, like, vlogging on different planets and shit. And it's like, oh, this will be a fun vlog. And then her, like, 
because for some reason the author seems to want to put that cat in every fucking series he does happy's back but he's like a robot mech thing that helps her film her vlogs it's weird Again, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> oh, she's also, like, classic, like, we're talking, like, he really does make fun of the vlog shit. Like, she's doing that whole, like, let me wear this low-cut thing for this, get more clickbait views, and, like, ooh, is that a dead guy over there? <laughs> she Logan Pauls it. Have they filmed in a suicide force yet? <laughs> Better. They've, uh, I, I've only read the first, like, six chapters, but, like, I seem to remember them going to, like, a broken-down fucking, like robot planet where like the robots had an uprising so i wouldn't be surprised if she was like here we are at the robot civil war <laughs> countless I'm are done dead. i'm done thoughts um, and predictions man why you gotta be done we're just now hitting 10 minutes <laughs> we, we gotta got extend that length <laughs> oh fuck um power continues to be best girl and uh, i expect a gender bent power cosplay david uh on my desk by november how about you suck my whole dick. <laughs> no, but see, you have the skinniness. You could pull that off. I don't. Well, Red, you got a gym membership now. You, you got to oh, get... Oh, yeah, I mean, that's one of the reasons I'm, I'm doing it, bro. It's time. Um, trying to think of anything else to talk about here. Yeah, I guess he just gets a new boy, a, a new disguise, and he's back in. I don't know. He's I mean, right back in it. Right in the thick of it. weird chapter. <laughs> Skin devil. So, yeah, I guess, I guess they're just going to be like... Wow, this is, I don't, yeah, you, there's nothing to talk about this chapter. Yeah, that's so why I'm like, yeah, this will be a short one. Other than how it is just hilarious. Like, I was dying reading it. That's all oh, I, I was really dying say. of laughter, but, like, there yeah. there really was no content to it. But I'm okay with it, because it, yeah. like, uh, uh, we it have, come, we have said before, we'll do, like, two-minute reviews if we have to. <laughs> yeah. We'll chibi review it. Okay, do you have any predictions, or you want to piece it? Uh, right now, all I'm saying is pukey, pukey boy, th- th- this author is fixated on the VOM, and it oh, is, yeah. it is disturbing. Count, dude, uh, it's not more just, dis- I'm still saying, man, I, I maybe mentioned this earlier, Made in Abyss, that author is fixated on, like, penises and buttholes. <laughs> and nipples. Yep, oh yeah, the amount of joke, like, like, it's just very, like, I... I can't get over that, man. Like, seriously, read, watch Made in the Biz. It's so good. It's like a beautiful Ghibli-esque story, and then every once in a while they mention penises, and it's like, oh, I forgot. <laughs> forgot this I is forgot. you. I Literally, like, they find a robot boy, and it's like, wow, how, enchant- how enchanting this robot boy came from this, like, magical, like, fucking abyss in the ground. And then all of a sudden she's like, so I was doing these experiments, and uh, one, he has a real human dick, which is weird, and two, I had to figure out what was up his ass, so I shoved a ruler up there and snapped it off on accident. <laughs> I'm like, whoa. You've got a kink. <laughs> the author clearly does. <laughs> I, I, I got nothing to top that. Peace. Yeah. This is what happened, by the way, for people that don't like off-topic stuff, this is what, we, we got to do it. It, it. Think This is a podcast first. Think of this as the Controlled Chaos podcast first with a loose, you know, we have a thing to talk about and then we'll branch off from there if we run out of things to talk about. That's what this is. It. That's what this is. Make use of the double tap feature on the side of the video to skip 10 seconds if you have a fucking problem with it. Peace. Peace. <laughs>